Okay, guys. Today I'm going to make conky, and conky is an African food. Today, as Africans, we are celebrating 182nd anniversary as um, emancipation. So we were emancipated from slavery. 182 years ago now conky is an african food and many people do not know how to prepare conky so today i am going to take you through this process as i prepare conky for our emancipation dish today so here are my ingredients that I'm gonna use here I have some raisins that I'm gonna to use to put inside it because I do not have a lot of raisins I'm gonna use some gr grind fruits I have grind fruits in here this is cornmeal that I'm going to use here I have boiled pumpkin here you have boiled pumpkin I have essence I have black pepper here I have my sugar and here I have grated coconut and this is what we call kush kush the African people they call it kush kush and these are the ingredients that we are going to use to make conky today so let me mix the and um, i have to mash this boiled uh, pumpkin. pumpkin i have to mash it up so this is pumpkin conky now we can also prepare you can also prepare other kinds of conky like the, the other one? you you have um the banana conky and i love the banana conky that's that's better for me and so if you don't like pumpkin you can use banana and you can prepare the banana conky i like the pumpkin more Oh, by the way, if you're having a, a hard time hearing us, or if you're hearing a lot of background noise, that's because it's raining. Yes, this is mashed pumpkin. So the pumpkin was boiled. It was you had to um, peel like the skin, mm -hmm. and you boil it like for five minutes. Mm -hmm. And so it is mashed here. And so I'm gonna throw a little essence inside of it. And continue to mash it. Right, it is almost finished here because it was boiled. Good. <laughs> wow. Good. mashed pumpkin here and I'm going to throw it over with the couscous and mix the two together So I'm mixing my pumpkin and the kush kush together. Remember I threw a little essence inside of it to give it a little flavor. Mm -hmm. 
good to make it taste get that delicious taste I will put a little butter inside so it's like, like a, a cake cinnamon, so. right this is mm -hmm. the African cake corn cake yeah <laughs> Let me put all the butter. And continue to mix. And this butter will melt because the conky is quite the um, pumpkin is quite warm just taken yeah from the water just warm so it could melt the butter good let me put my sugar So sugar is added there. And I will put my raisins inside. Put some, I won't put all now. And I will throw my grind fruits. So this is grind fruits added to the mixture. So, I will put some black pepper. I like it hot. Black pepper. And my final ingredient is the cornmeal it smells real good already yeah <laughs> and then it's going to taste even better and so i'm going to put the cornmeal if you're interested in this pouring corn i know we have meal. a lot of american subscribers and you want to try this you can definitely follow my mom's instructions uh, buy the ingredients it should be at your supermarkets. They're not hard to get. I'm gonna make this. I'm gonna enjoy you some different tastes, some flavor. Yes. <laughs> Add some more for you. I want it stiff. So I'm put pouring cornmeal inside. As in, not as soft as a cake, right? Mm -hmm. Because this has to go through another process. It has of to boiling. boil in water. So, I don't want it to disappear in the water. Let me put some more corn meal. We don't really deal with measurements in African homes. <laughs> like four, 
until we deem fit. Yes, I can measure it, but I, I normally average. Yeah, we do average. Okay. I look to see when my mixture gets thick. Okay guys, this is a banana leaf that I'm going to use to wrap the mixture in. Now, I picked this from the banana tree and this is a green leaf. I have green leaves that I'm going to use. These are green leaves that I'm going to use. They are washed. And mm. I have dried ones. Now, let me show you how I'm going to strip the green leaves. So, I hope you can hear that song because it's going to get us copyrighted. I know you're speaking in my voice. I have to strip the green leaves. Now I have to cut them so that I can place the mixture inside to wrap it. Good. And the dry ones that I have to wrap it up with, I have to strip it. So this would be like a string. I am stripping this to wrap it. good let me show you how to do one i'm gonna do one for you this is my leaf so you put it in the like i turn it turn, turn it, it on the wrong side okay okay and i put this in the middle then i fold it like this i fold it this way also this way and sometimes it bursts and peep out so it means that you have to wrap it again another yes you have to wrap it with another piece so that it cannot nothing can escape See that wrap? You see that? And so I take my string and I tie.
so this is what will go into the it looks like a Christmas present <laughs> all right so This will take a long time, so I'm just going to do a few for you to see. This is the hardest part. Because you have to take your time to ensure that everything stays inside. Right? And most times you have to wrap it again so that nothing escape you don't want anything to escape right it one more tie this side I'm gonna turn it around okay. the wrong side at the back so I can tie it properly good so this is how it looks is now finished it's finished cooking and I'm gonna take it out of the pot and it has to cool and then I will take it Okay guys, let me loose out the wrapping and I'm going to take off the leaf, the banana leaf. Here goes your conky. This is your conky guys. Okay guys, this is the end result of the conky. And you can cut it like this. Conky. And you can it is now ready to be eaten. Oh. Mm. It's good. Emancipation to all our African brothers and sisters and I hope you enjoy this session
of making conky. Bless.